Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Boric, and I'm wearing the special for special occasions. Seek and destroy shirt, because that's what Tippett, Cates, and Frost continue to do as a line after playing well and getting a point that line itself in the 6-3 win over the Canadians. They play even better and have a point on every goal that was with a goalie in net as Travis Konechny then had the empty net goal, <clears throat> of course, as well. But every goal with the goaltender between the twine was that line. Is That's going to be the title of this video about that line. As Morgan Frost has become a much better puck possessor. Definitely agree with Chris Mayer, the wonderful Flyers of Fan Mania 93. Definitely give him a follow if you haven't. I don't know what you're doing. And also, please continue to subscribe down below here or up above on the Easy to Use widget. Keep the channel growing to 230 or more by the end of April. Really appreciate your guys' support this far. But the Flyers today, the biggest thing... Did they limit the shot total of the other team as much? No, but I don't expect everything to be perfect with a team that's basically already rebuilding on the fly by necessity just because of their injuries, having all these young guys in. But it's also the best foot forward, and we've seen the team play better, in my opinion, with all these young guys in because guess what? They're playing for something and playing for their rights to stay in the NHL. And Hogberg, so far so good, assists in the Canadiens game and assists in the Penguins game. So he has an assist against one team that obviously has been very lackluster this year in the Canadians, but a team that's been a great team in which Tristan Yari, in some people's minds, is a cup contender. So I think that's a very good one because even this game, I didn't think it was a game that the Flyers won because Louis Domingue was in net. Noah Cates had two beautiful deflections, one assisted by Yondo and Frost, his 10th assist for uh, Frost and the 17th for Yondo, if only Yondo could have done that more this year uh, on those shots from the point. And then Cates, a beautiful second deflection, again assisted by Yondo on the secondary assist, but Provorov's the one that shot at that time. Two beautiful deflections by Noah Cates aren't also being saved by Tristan Yar. He would have had to get lucky to save one of those, because those are two mighty A-plus deflections by Noah Cates there. And then Tippett and Cates had the assist, fighting in front of the net, battling in front of the net front. These are three guys that are playing still to prove themselves in the NHL. And Noah Cates has been wonderful from the get-go. I don't even think he's had a bad game. And Frost has been fantastic in the final four weeks of the season and has become better overall. I do still think moving Cates to center and moving Frost to the wing makes the most sense in the future of that line. But if that line as a whole works out swimmingly, that's just very well suited for the Flyers moving forward as they should rebuild this team. And that's why I have the Seek and Destroy shirt on because that line destroyed against the Canadians and it continues to destroy in this game. And then the line with Fairby and Brink continues to destroy this game as well as Fairby and Brink seem to have immaculate chemistry with each other. And obviously Frost, Tippett, and Kate seem to have great chemistry with each other thus far. Those lines should stay together. JVR is kind of irrelevant in the line with Fairby and Brink just because he's probably not going to be on the team going forward, but he's kind of just the placeholder in that line now. But you should keep Tippett, Kate, and Frost together for sure. Um, and then you should keep Brink and Fairby together for sure because those are all young guys. If they can stay together for a while, that's just really going to help this team make the rebuild as quick as possible and as fun to watch as possible even as the team's not winning. This year, for example, the Kraken on a winning team, but they're a team that's been very competitive and fun to watch. The Phantoms have been mediocre as their AHL team. I cover them and watch every one of their games as well, but they've still been a more fun team to watch at times this year where the Flyers have been one of those paint-dry teams at times this year where they just were not fun to watch at all for a period of time. Now with these younger guys in the lineup that have something to prove, they definitely have been more enjoyable to watch even in losing efforts. But this has been a quick video recapping the game against the Pittsburgh Peng Penguins where I understand fans want to get the best pick but I always want to play for the Penguins and that's exactly what the Flyers did today on two beautiful deflection goals by Kate one assisted on the shot by Yondo the other assisted on the shot by Provorov where Yondo got the other assist and on the first one Morgan Frost got the other assist and on Frost goal Tippett and Noah Cates got the assist so this was a great game for the Flyers. I would say this was an A-plus game for the Flyers, and Morton Jones was also a star of the game. That line of Frost, Cates, and Tibbet is just the first star. Martin Jones is the second star. And I would say the third star, yes, Konechny ended up getting an empty net goal, uh, would have to be just how good he's looked in both games, getting the puck off of the stick of other teams. And he kind of became an odd man out, as Linus Hogberg, because he became an odd man out with the Phantoms. Interestingly, wrong I think this year that he became an odd man out but then comes up and has two very good games with the Lehigh or with the Lehigh Valley Flyers with the Philadelphia Flyers um as he is really starting to kind of 
show himself. I thought he played fantastic last year and good in games this year for the Phantoms. He was kind of one of those weird guys that could get subbed out right away when he had an off game where others wouldn't. But uh, that doesn't that's not important now as he has an assist in both of his first two games in the NHL. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Hopefully that line of Cates, Frost, and Tibbet plus Farabee and Brink, as well as Ronnie Adderd, who has looked very good in this last chunk of games compared to his first chunk of game. Hopefully those lines continue to go swimmingly because that would be fantastic for the future of this team. Peace out and stay safe, everybody. This has been the latest edition of The Grittiest Take. As you recap, a fantastic one-line really led win, but also just overall good play by the Flyers. Played a good defensive structure today. Hogberg, the reason I gave him third, so it wasn't just the two assists in two games and getting another apple today. It was the fact that he just looks very comfortable out there for two for the first two NHL games when he hasn't even played that many AHL games recently because he hasn't been consistently in the lineup. So it's great to get to see him out there. He's fresh legs. It definitely looks like it. And Adders look fantastic as well. And I think both of those guys now. Adder, I didn't think at first, but now I think he does have a chance to make the team with how he's looking in his last five out of the gate next year if he continues to finish in these final, I believe it's three games. And he continues to finish really well in those final three games. The Kraken also have three games. So the Flyers, for those people really concerned about one pick difference, um, I think if you can just pick really well, if you have a top seven pick, you should be able to win. If you can pick it well, and I think Flair's picked well. For people that don't know, he's the guy that does all the drafting stuff and scouting stuff. Fletcher just does kind of the trade and signing so and all that. But anyway, peace, everybody. Stay safe. Please you subscribe down below. This has been the latest edition of the Grittiest Take. Went a little bit long there at the end, but great game by the Flyers overall.